Jake Instructions. I just want to run you through the structural wall we're repairing in here. Thanks a lot, Paul. Oh, okay. Say hello. Hang on, oh, he's just still an ugly bugger. I'm going to have a shave this morning. <laughs> All right, then. Look, um, this is the unit that we're uh, currently working on where we pulled the roof tiles off to fix this wall up. Um, so I'll just going to take you in and show you the structural repairs we've done and the load bearing issues we've had. Um, you can see where the boys are repaired before we got in here. There was no um, heads over the doors or beams over the doors to hold the load from upstairs in the floor. So you can see that uh, new set of triple studs we've got in there. There's, there's three studs going up either side and there's a really big hardwood uh, beam there. Now it's all locked into position, it won't move. And we've got on our structural points here under the staircase, we've got more um, column structures, triple studs, quadruple studs, what have you. Uh, is Steve. How are you going, Steve? Good, mate. Yeah, very good, good. Steve's just in the process of putting some sheets on so the electricians can screw the subboard back on. Um, we also had a problem over here under the staircase. Um, staircase wasn't supported on the right hand side or the left hand side for that matter. So we put a new concentration of studs in on both sides there, and now that staircase is being held up and uh, under each string or on each side. So it's good. So, uh, the floor is all supported. It's come up dead straight, and uh, it looks terrific now. And uh, I might just add, uh, if we hadn't have uh, come in here and done this, um, I suspect that sometime in the future, this whole building may have collapsed because it was leaned. Uh, leaned the whole building had shifted, probably 50, 70, 70 mil on one side. So we're just going in the back here. It's a bit dark, but. You can see is that under the staircase underneath there, you can see we put the, the new wall in up at the top. We put an extra, extra up the top of that one, we put an extra uh, plate in there, an extra top plate, so you've got a double top plate. And that's now uh, all straightened it all out at the bottom. And on this side we put a new, new dwarf wall in up here as well. Um, so that goes right through there and it's straightened up the whole floor. So that's all dead straight and uh, everything's all nice and plumb. We've got the, all the uh, uh, bracing ply back on this, bracing ply to stop the building from, uh, from um, moving and what have you, so it wasn't uh, even nailed before. So anyway, we'll go upstairs um, and we'll have a quick look up here. So the boys are up here at the moment. Hey, mate. There he is again. So here we go, we're coming in here. We've pulled this section of the ceiling out in this uh, alcove, so we wanted to have a look and see what had actually gone wrong up there. Uh, we found that the trusses had tw twisted and warped a bit and there's no um, there's no uh, knob and the trimmers inside there. So we're going to put a, a row of trimmers in the ceiling here. So you can see where it's... There's a better look at it there. You can see where it goes right through. If you have a look, look there's a bit of a, a bow in there and there's a bow through there. So we're going to fix all that up, straighten it all out and then shoot it again. And on this side over here, this is the, uh, we fixed, we've uh, located our, um, located all of our, our main structural points in here. So you can see where we come up with this dwarf wall, and above that we've got the uh, eye booms that come through, and there's a new double stud that goes up, if you, go, if you have a little look, I'll just move up here a bit further. If you have a look, it goes up there and it sits directly underneath the truss, which is really good. Now you'll see some other pieces of uh, timber the boys have got up the top here. Okay. okay. And um, what's happened is uh, <coughs> there's been no bracing or anything. So what they've done, they've put in between the trusses. You can see there's a new piece there. That's split the trusses and it's, made them, it's, it's pulled them in together. And in no way known they're going to go anywhere or move anymore. So it's got lateral support and it's got vertical supports with the studs in it. And again, the modern, there's another beam up the top here. Before there was no other beam to take that. There's a truss right here above it, you can see. Right, it's a, it's a roof load bearing down. There was no nothing there at all. I'm just absolutely astonished at the way this place was built. Disgraceful. So... We virtually have to rebuild the place. So we go through, uh, have a look under these trusses here. There's another truss now. Have a look at these trusses. A good look I can see there. 
they're, they're actually off plumb by, so that's probably 70 odd mil, and this one's uh, probably more. If you go back here, you can see the big twist in it. So we're going to get those out before the boys finish at the last bit. We're going to adjust these roof trusses a bit more. But have a look at the, where, they're, where they're located now. You see underneath each truss, there's a truss there. Underneath him, you've got this new concentration of, um, of stub work there that comes down to the truss and there's your stub work. Comes all the way down there, it's supported. Boom. And same here, there's another double stud that's supported now. There's another one. So they've actually got supports under each truss, which takes all the roof load and everything is really good. So today we've got the electricians back in and uh, we're going to, because we're panning around, we have a look up the ceiling. Um, there's been a bit of damage up here that's obviously we couldn't help. So the straightener will probably be a bit more. So we're going to uh, take that light fitting out and uh, take that um, f uh, smoke detector out up here. And in here you can see that the light fan has got to come out and down there's another down light. Uh, we sustained a bit of damage in this bathroom with the, when we, you can see where we lifted the trusses up and put the new plate on there. Well, the ceiling just let go. We kind of expected that to happen anyway. So we're going to put a new ceiling in the bathroom. Um, we've had to get behind the vanity unit here and take a piece out. So uh, when we lifted the wall up, it didn't uh, crack the whole thing. And just go back up here a bit. We're going to have a look in this bedroom. You can have a look for this. You can see here where the sheet is the distance we've lifted it up it would be a good 50 mil here where it's had to come up and uh there's where you trust you can look at that truss there now that's a truncated truss so it's taking the weight of this and it's taking it there's a valley that runs through above it there a hip i'm sorry and there's a valley on the other side of it so it's a fair bit of weight landing on this and it's a very uh very very uh, heavy part of the load is sitting right here that was not supported at all at any stage until now. So it's not going to go anywhere now, and uh, it's all done right. Now, if we have a look out in the kitchen. Um, I just want to quickly show you out here. Um, you see the ceilings are gone up here. That's just because um, because the load shifted on the trusses when we moved them, and everything's gone back and loaded where it should be. When we adjust these trusses now, these ones up in here, it's probably going to crack it a bit more, so we'll keep our eye on it, and um, everybody's uh, going to be hard at work. There's Paulie up there, he's not ready to go. I'll just take a shot from back here, Paulie, stop, and you can see the length, kind of get an idea where we are, there, that's all well supported, really good structurally uh, done now. Uh, engineer's got to come in, he'll come in and have uh, a look at it and I'm sure he's going to approve it but we want to get these final adjustments done to see how much more damage we get so we, we repair everything and um, it's all done at once. So I'll just have a out on the balcony out here, we'll have a quick look. Here we go, we'll look at it over the mountains over there. See a beautiful place this, absolutely beautiful place. So look, you can see up there, that's Super Paradise, the Burley Heads there. Look through there, this is Palm Beach. You come around, Palm Beach and Corumban. So, absolutely beautiful part of the country up here. Outstanding place. So, all right, well, this is Brian signing off, and uh, we'll see you next time and um, keep you up to date. Thank you.